Frostbite! Wrestling is a dangerous enterprise. Despite movements and positions being choreographed, performed, and even rehearsed ahead of time, you never know when you're going to have to improvise on stage. This impromptu endeavor might just lead to some severe injuries. So, whether it's from a bad dynamic between two wrestlers or just an improvisation gone wrong, here are a few times wrestlers landed on their necks. Starting off the list with number seven, it's Madcap Moss. Elimination Chamber 2022 saw a fairly intense match between Drew McIntyre and Madcap Moss. During the match, Drew went for his standard inverted Alabama slam, which he had done hundreds of times before. But Madcap Moss, in the heat of the moment, did not realize he was going onto the canvas face first. His neck took most of the impact from the fall, but he ended up getting back on his feet and finishing the match. His ringside assistant, Happy Corbin, and the medical crew made sure he was completely fine before going on with the match. Up next, at number six, we have Lita. Lita and Trish Stratus made history in 2004 for the first female main event on Raw, the flagship show of the brand. It was really a match that set up the movement for the indoctrination of women in mainstream wrestling entertainment, but it nearly came at the expense of Lita's neck. During the match, Lita dove out of the ring and threw the ropes onto Stratus and didn't exactly nail the landing because she tumbled face first onto the ground, her neck taking most of the impact. And though disoriented, lovely Lita took all 10 seconds the referee had to offer before getting back into the match and finishing smoothly. At number five, it's James Ellsworth. During the rebranding of SmackDown and the subsequent drafts, there have been a plethora of new superstars coming onto the scene. One notable individual, chosen on the basis of his physique, or rather lack thereof, was James Ellsworth. Ellsworth had a notorious clash with the then WWE champion AJ Styles, and in one of their matches on SmackDown, Styles was going for his trademark signature move, the Styles Clash. Before it connected though, Ellsworth, purely out of instinct, tucked his chin and landed on his neck. Styles managed to save him and he brushed it off. Up next, at number four, it's Big E. Big E is a former WWE champion and renowned member of the New Day. Suffice it to say, when he broke his neck in March of 2022, many of his fans were devastated. During a match on SmackDown Live, The New Day went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sheamus and Holland, during which an overhead slam was delivered to Big E, and he landed hard on his neck, breaking his C1 and C6 vertebrae. Thankfully, the breaks did not require surgery, and he was grateful for all the support from the fans. Big E is expected to make a full recovery. Coming in hard at number three, it's John Cena. You don't spend 20 years in a wrestling company without picking up a few injuries along the way. The main event of SummerSlam 2008 saw John Cena going one-on-one -on -one with Batista. The match was going as expected, but then Cena got caught in a mid-air Batista bump and severely jerked his neck. Cena was in severe pain, but he still managed to kick out of the submission. Despite his valiant and stoic efforts, Cena still lost the match and had to receive surgery for a herniated disc. Four months later, he had made a full recovery and was back in action. At number two, we have Rusev. Not 10 years after SummerSlam 2008, the Bulgarian brute suffered the same injury Cena had a decade prior. Rusev was set to face the Viper in singles competition, but the match was abruptly cut short after Orton landed a devastating blow that almost incapacitated Rusev. Rusev was unable to kick out, and this led to Orton receiving an early victory. Post-match, it was discovered he had fractured one of his cervical vertebrae, and as a result, had to take a hiatus from wrestling to recuperate. And finally, at number one, we have perennial underdog, Daniel Bryan. 
Despite being his tag team partner for the longest time, Kane went berserk on Daniel Bryan during an episode of Raw in 2014. As the World Heavyweight Champion tried to retreat, Bryan was abused by Kane, who reminded everyone why they call him the monster. Relentlessly brutal during his assault against Bryan, he landed three tombstone pile drivers, one on concrete, another on steel, and the final on the announce table. Clearly, Bryan was hurt and had to be carried away by EMTs and medical technicians. That's it for this list, guys. Hopefully, it was not too much of a pain in the neck. Before you go, make sure to like the video, and as always, Slam that subscribe button for more videos just like this.